Lowest Common Ancestor of a Binary Tree Part 3 This question is frequently asked by Facebook, LinkedIn, and Microsoft. In this solution, we are maintaining two pointers, pointer P and pointer Q, initialized to the node P and node Q. We keep traversing the tree upwards towards the root of the tree using the parent reference in each node. When pointer P reaches the root node, we will redirect it to the node Q. Similarly, when pointer Q reaches the root node, then we will redirect it to the node P. If at any point pointer P and pointer Q points to the same node, then pointer P or pointer Q is the lowest common ancestor of node P and Q. Let us consider the following binary tree that fulfills all the given constraints. Here, root node is 8. Node P is 1, and node Q is 7. We have to find the lowest common ancestor of node 1 and node 7. I have highlighted the path from node P to root in red, and from node Q to root node in blue. The difference in depth of both the nodes is 1. In this example, pointer P will reach the root node in 2 hops, and pointer Q will reach the root node in 3 hops. Thus, pointer P has to travel 1 hop less to reach the root node. By redirecting the pointer P to node Q, and pointer Q to node P, we are making pointer P travel 1 extra hop and pointer Q travel 1 less hop. Thus both pointers end up traveling the same number of hops, and are guaranteed to reach the lowest common ancestor node at the same time. Now, let us look at the time and space complexity analysis of this problem. The time taken by this algorithm, is the total number of hops required to find the lowest common ancestor, which is equal to the depth of node P, plus the depth of node Q, and minus the depth of the lowest common ancestor node. Here, both the depth of node P, and the depth of node Q, include the depth of the lowest common ancestor node, which is traveled only once. Thus, subtracting it from the total number of required hops. Also, constant space is used in this solution to store the two pointers. Now, let us work through the Java code for this solution. First, we will check for invalid inputs. If either node P or Q is null, then we will throw an illegal argument exception. Now, we will check if both the nodes are the same, then the lowest common ancestor is P or Q. This while loop will run till both the node pointers refer to the same node. Once both the node pointers point to the same node, that node will be the lowest common ancestor of nodes P and Q. If both the pointers reach null at the same time, then node P and Q are not part of the same tree. We will throw an illegal argument exception as this invalidates the input. However, due to the given constraints in the question, this check is redundant. If pointer P reaches the root node of the tree, then we will redirect it to node Q. Else, if pointer Q reaches the root node of the tree, then we will redirect it to node P. Now, both pointer P and pointer Q refer to the lowest common ancestor node. So, we will return either of them.